Hello, everyone. Welcome to our five-step authentication series on Gucci. My name is Kathy. I'm going to be walking you through the five basic essential steps that you'll need to authenticate your Gucci bag. In this series in particular, we're going to go ahead and focus on the newer age models, which are highlighted below here. These models were used primarily after the 1990s and are really common and easy to spot. Okay, everyone, we're going to go ahead and walk through our step one process. Step one, we're going to be looking at the brand logo and the maiden stamp. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I want you all to take a moment to look at both of these images here and write down on a different piece of paper three different areas that stand out to you the most on the fake side. So we have our authentic side here on the left and our fake side here on the right. I'll give you a couple of seconds to write something down. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to my 3S method, which can be applied to the brand logo tab. The 3S method is going to give you three different areas that you can look at when looking at your brand logo. The first area is the shape. You can ask yourself these solid questions. Are the corners of the tab consistent? Is the shape of the tab rectangular? Also note that this is for the 1990s tag and up, as mentioned previously. The next S is going to be our spacing. Is the space between each letter consistent? What about the spacing in between each stitch? Apply this to all aspects of the brand logo tab and take it all into consideration when reviewing. Our last S is going to be the stitching. Are all the stitches going in the same direction? Are they tightly in place and are they evenly distributed? Stitching, the spacing, and the shape of the tab are going to be three really great ways to identify any major red flags within your item. Taking a look back at both of our images here, you can automatically see the major shape of the tab, the shaping of the spot on each side. So let's go ahead and look at the fake a little bit more in depth. First, as I mentioned, is the shape of the tab. As you can see, the corners are really rounded. They are not nice and clean, and they're a little bit uneven on each side. Another note that you can see here is that it's very thick. Usually the leather is not this thick when you're looking at an authentic piece. Uh, the next area you can look at is the spacing of the font. So when you're looking at the Gucci logo itself, you can see that the spacing in between each of these letters is really inconsistent. The U and the C have a little bit more space here than the C and the I. Additionally, the Made in Italy is really spaced out in between here and all these kind of blend in together. Lastly, is taking into consideration the stitching. So I know this image is a little bit darker, so the color may appear a little bit hard, but if you see right in this arrow, there's a thick in-between spacing in between each of these stitches. This is something that should stand out to you pretty immediately. Always use it as a red flag. Stitching needs to be really consistent and tight to make, tight to make sure that the item is gonna hold in place throughout the life cycle of the item. But what about the super fakes, right? So I wanna go ahead and touch about touch on these really quickly. In the last example, the image was very obvious, it, you know, or maybe not very obvious to a new learning authenticator, but it has very easily identifiable red flags. In the next slide, we're gonna go over the not so obvious red flags, which are often called super fakes. So, Previously, I asked you to take a look at both items. I'm gonna have you do the same here. If you take a look at the, the photo on the left and the photo on the right, I want you to take a moment and pause and write down which one you think is fake and why. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Some people may be really surprised that the fake is also on the right. So, if we dive in a little bit deeper, there's some pretty big red flags that can come out immediately, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through them a little bit more in depth so you can kind of get a really good grasp of what we're looking for while still using that 3S method. Okay, so when we're looking at the stitching of this item, you can see here, as mentioned below, each stitch is technically going the same direction. However, look at the size and spacing in between each one. This one is a little bit longer. This one has a, a very identifiable space in between. This stitch is very tiny. It's a lot tighter, as well as this third one right here. 
you can see the pattern kind of continue through the entire tab below, but it's not as obvious as it was on that first one. The next we're going to go over is the depth. So if you look at the depth of this stamp, you can see the inconsistency around that registered symbol in particular. It's a lot lighter right here and really deep causing a shadow here. This is also really present in the stamping below down here. So when you take a look at the shape and font of itself, everything is pretty inconsistent, right? So we have a lighter stamping here and a heavier stamping here. Gucci itself will always have a very uniformed stamp. So if you ever see any portion of the stamp that seems a little bit uneven on a smooth textured surface, um, it's a good reason to believe that you should look a little bit more in depth on the item.